<clears throat> um, hi. <laughs> this is gonna be a very different video than I usually make on this channel. <laughs> As some of you know, my channel has made TF2 content before, and it was and probably still is some of my most popular content on here. My most popular video as a recording is a TF2 video. To this day, I still even occasionally play TF2 through live streams, or even reference it in some of my other videos. To say TF2 is something that I hold close to my heart, despite me being around post Jungle Inferno, would probably be an understatement. Unfortunately, I, alongside many others, have had enough. If the footage on screen doesn't make it clear as day, TF2's current state is atrocious. And I'm saying this lightly. For those who are somehow unaware, TF2 has had a major botting issue for years now. The game has had tons of cheating bots and has caused TF2 matches and casual servers to be outright unplayable. This was an issue that the community knew. So much that a movement was started to get Valve's attention for a hashtag known as SaveTF2. However, we didn't outright go and say to Valve's face how much we hated the guts for neglected TF2. It was intended to be a peaceful protest, and Valve did acknowledge the issue, albeit in a very vague tweet, and while some updates did fix the issue, there were only temporary fixes. And now, two years later, after Save TF2 concluded, yeah, I hope the amount of videos that you've been seeing on your YouTube feed if you're in the TF2 community has been making it clear. Nobody is happy with how Valve has been neglecting TF2. Which is why... Enough. Is. Fucking. Enough. The TF2 community was in slumps a while ago, with a video from Dusty Jesus showing that TF2's player accounts are likely to be bots, and leaks of a new online shooter from Valve causing people to doom post on r slash TF2, which... Kind of made me question why people were doom posting, like... That, that kind of game... I, I, I don't get thinking it would replace TF2. Why would you think Valve would make a new IP just to replace an old IP? I mean, yeah, I know CS2 exists, but... Uh, whatever. However, we're officially taking a stance. Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, save TF2 was flawed. There was criticism levied against the movement because of how vague it was. However, this new movement is being cited as a way to make it much more clear. FixTF2 is our new hashtag alongside SaveTF2. Hopefully, FixTF2 is more clear about the issue. So, what can you do about this? Simple. Make a video about your love for TF2 and show to Valve just how bad the issue has gotten. In addition, an online petition has been made that all of the signatures that it receives will be sent directly to Valve. Be sure to share these kinds of experiences and express your frustration towards Valve with this hashtag. Valve is a multi-billion dollar company. They should be held in a higher standard to this. To any Valve stands that are somehow watching this, just know this. Valve is not a perfect company. Just stop puffing that copium for one minute and hear me out. Do you really think Valve should be defended if they neglect their own communities, or even fuck off? If they say, Ugh, you feel this oh, game, who the fuck cares? Well, guess what? Tons of people care. That's like TF2 should die because it's old is fucking stupid. Like, come on, people still use Gmod to this day, and that game is ass old. Yeah, we don't tell people to let that game die. Acting like we should let games die because of them being old is a tired and stupid argument. I want TF2 to be playable for the foreseeable future, and Valve's incompetence is unacceptable. One thing I have seen people suggest is a financial boycott, and that isn't going to be something I'm going to outright encourage, but at the same time, I do respect the notion of voting with your wallet. Because if Valve doesn't respect you, then why should you give them your money? Personally, I already have bought most of Valve's titles, and I don't outright purchase things from the TF2 marketplace a lot, but I definitely won't be buying from Valve for Summer Crate unless they get their shit together. There's something that I hope other Valve communities can agree with us on, 
and that is Valve Anti-Cheat is shit. So, we want Valve to actually make a good Anti-Cheat. I've wanted TF2 to get a major update for a long time, and at this point, I don't even care if TF2 gets any more balance changes or even a new map. All I want is for Valve to have the game be playable again. Valve, if you hear us, and I know you do, don't just address it in a half-assed response on Twitter. Tell us and reassure us that you are fixing the issue. Prove to us that you care. Show that you care. Because you're not showing it. We've had enough. Get your shit together. You guys are better than this. I've seen you do better. I know you can do better. Remember everybody, this cannot be done without your help. Let's fix TF2 together.